Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We have Larry Bridger and Mike Malik here today conducting a Strap Binder overview. Um, if you have any questions during the webinar, please use the question feature and we'll go over all of your questions and comments during the wrap up section at the end. Um, so, without further ado, I'll pass this over to Larry and Mike. Well, thanks, Courtney. Uh, this is Larry Bridger. I'm the National Account Manager for Strat Binder. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you for attending today, and I hope you're having a great and safe day. Uh, my counter presenter is Mike Mallet. He's the product manager for Strat Binder. Mike, you want to say hello? Yes, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining in our little session here. And uh, since we got the intros out of the way, I'm going to get started and get right into the presentation. If I can get it to work, we'll be doing great. Okay, Stratbinder uh, basically has a production facility in Smyrna, Tennessee. Uh, in Smyrna, Tennessee, we manufacture about 1.5 million pieces of product a day, uh, and it uh, has about 357 employees. Uh, also in Smyrna, we have a large distribution center. Uh, it's a highly automated facility uh, with good engineering and high quality and low cost. The Stratbinder line, I would say the ideal Trident group, which is part of Stratbinder's part of. Uh, at Smyrna, we manufacture the worm type gears. The the worm gear, uh, basically, you find you will find in most of your automotive applications uh, in hoses, uh, hose connections. Uh, ideal Trident controls uh, about eight, about 60 to 70 percent of the automotive market, and of course, these, these plants are used in agriculture. Uh, in defense, uh, all kinds of uh, oil and gas, uh, food and beverage, all kinds of applications, as you know. Uh, what we're going to talk today is about the strap binder. Uh, it's the little section over here to the up to the top. Uh, it's basically talking about preformed clamps and band and buckle, and that's the product we're going to talk about today. And uh, we'll get started on that. I am having typical dif difficulties getting this slide show to work. <laughs> Courtney, you might need to come back on. It seems freezing on me. Let me uh, test here real quick. Okay, now it's starting to work. Okay, the ITIL Trident Group, uh, basically ITIL uh, was founded in 1913 by a cab driver in New York. Uh, he was basically looking for an application to, uh, and for his hoses in his cab. Uh, so he came up with the first worm gear. Uh, the other company, the sister company that started in Canada was Trident. Uh, and it started in 1924. Now these were two separate com companies that basically merged, that controlled most of the uh, the clamping uh, market, and they merged in, I want to say, in 1999 uh, to, to form Ideal Trident. Uh, in the midst of that, they opened a Mexico facility. Over a period of time, they basically introduced new patent, new products, uh, opened up, uh, brought in partners. Uh, opened a facility in Poland, opened a facility in India in distribution, and uh, I believe they opened a facility in China. Uh, lately, in the last couple of years, uh, we've had a couple of acquisitions. In 2018, we had Campbell Fittings, uh, which was in Boyertown, uh, Pennsylvania, which makes the compression type fittings for hoses. And then we had ZSI Foster acquisition in 2019 which is more the uh, the clamping, the strut, and uh, that's such a product. This 
footprint, global footprint is of, is of Idel Tridon before the ZSI Foster and Campbell merger. Uh, as it shows on this slide, we have a facility in Smyrna, Tennessee. Uh, that facility is where the strap binder product and preform clamps are manufactured. Uh, we have also have a facility in Mexico where we have some products coming out of. As you can see on this map, we also have a facility in Poland, uh, and we also have a facility in Italy. And it's showing the facility in India and in China. After the acquisitions, uh, Ideal Triton went to the Ideal Triton Group. And under this is, as I discussed earlier, is Campbell Fittings. We've had another acquisition of Florida Strup, Versabar, and ZSI Foster, went Statco, and then Stratbinder was, I believe, in about 2016 or 17. The main products, as I mentioned earlier, were the worm gear, the T-bolt, and the strut, and the and, uh, especially clamps conduits, ports, fastening solutions. The markets, automotive, petro, O&G, uh, Havac, mechanical, uh, you're basically talking aeronautics, uh, agriculture, you're basically covering about everything. Uh, we're driven by high quality, low cost, uh, quick to market. Headquartered in Smyrna, Tennessee. This is a global footprint. I won't spend a lot of time on it, but you can see we've expanded our plant. Uh, through this acquisition, we have a, a plant in California. We also have one in Ocala, Florida, which is not shown on the map. As I mentioned earlier, one in Boyerstown, also one in uh, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, with the fittings and, uh, and such. Uh, and the other footprint, I think we added Vasily in Italy in that process. Some of our global customers uh, are some of the big names in automotive, Ford, GM, Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Volvo, as you can see. And then you get the, some of those large equipment manufacturers like Caterpillar, John Deere. And then we get into uh, some of your, uh, your boating type situations with Mercury, Yamaha, Kawasaki. And then you got good old Honeywell, but those are just a few. On the aftermarket section, uh, you guys have probably seen a lot of these, uh, a lot of distribution and supply houses, uh, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, uh, Indust MSC Industrial, Granger, McMaster, good old Home Depot, Napa, some good names we all know about. Now, what I want to talk to you today is, is a, a little bit about our manufacturing and how our facilities are run, uh, because it's very important to know how how we go to market and uh, how we run our how we run our plants. We basically have four production facilities on the Ideal Triton footprint, not including our acquisitions, uh, and we basically share best processes. Uh, we basically are 90% fully integrated manufacturing. Another very important key to our business is engineering service support. Uh, it's a very heavily engineered uh, company and product. We support our customers with new products. Uh, we support with uh, new applications and whatever they ask us for. We also use this engineering in our design, analysis, and uh, testing. Testing is very critical to our product to make sure we supply the best, the best, the best and meet the standards of the industry. I mean, it, I mean, that's the basics. Now the testing capabilities, uh, IDEAL has a large number of testing capabilities. Uh, I'm just gonna read a few here because uh, they're very important. You got the salt spray tests uh, for your coastal areas, uh, pressure, vibration, and temperature, which is pretty basic. Uh, your pressure, pressure tests, uh, metallurgical tests, uh, we also do uh, SIM, scanning electronic microscope, uh, catalytic corrosion, uh, very important test. We even get down into sub-zero. Now here's where I really start talking about the product. Uh, Strat Binder itself uh, was, was basically purchased by Dill in about 2000, I wanna say 16 or 17, I might miss the year. But it was a regional player in Elton, uh, Elton Grove, I mean, Illinois, 
excuse me, a suburb of Chicago. Uh, and it was brought to, and it was moved down to Smyrna. Uh, our biggest competitor is Stratbinder. So if you know Stratbinder, you know, I mean, excuse me, not Stratbinder. I mean, our biggest competitor is Bandit. Uh, basically, if you know Bandit, you know Stratbinder. Uh, we're basically into a stainless steel nailed and galvanized type product. Uh, we package about 100 foot to 200 foot uh, banding and coils. Uh, our packaging can be in box or in tote. What we mean by tote is a plastic tote. We'll go over that later. Uh, our bands are are built at 201, 304, or 316 stainless. Uh, 201 is the mainstay of the industry. Uh, where basically 316 is where you get in a harsh environment like marine environment. And then 304 is a good mainstay for corrosion. Uh, our buckles that go with the banding are in 201 and 316 stainless. Uh, and doing banding allows you to uh, band around any diameter pole, pipe, uh, or hose you want to get involved with. Uh, applications include installation banding, cable bundling, Installation of signage, traffic control, antennas, cameras, lighting, electrical equipment, uh, hoses, uh, fire truck hoses, uh, tanks. Uh, there's all kinds of hose application with the banding. Now, the preformed clamps, which you probably are more familiar with, you're probably using every day, uh, come in stainless steel and galvanized, and they go up to eight inch diameter, and they're priced per box. And then we also have available sound brackets for sound mounting, stainless steel with bolts and washers, and other mounting uh, type uh, material uh, for the customer. In the picture below, you can see basically uh, this is basically one of your tooling, your basic tools, your spin tight tool uh, for banding. And you can also use this also for center punch uh, and uh, this is your battery arbor tool, and uh, here's just your some preformed clamps, and these are the toes. These are the plastic toes that I was talking about. And at this part of the uh, presentation, I'm going to turn it over to Mike. And uh, Mike, don't screw up like I did and call Bandit Strat Binder, but go ahead. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Larry. Uh, good morning, everyone. Again, uh, just uh, we're, we're going to be repeat some things that Larry had covered, but we'll get into a little more detail on the specific products. As Larry mentioned, we're a, a securement company with products that serve a variety of industries that include agriculture, oil and gas, petro, petrochemical, mining, construction, utilities, and municipalities. Our key products include preformed hose clamps, stainless banding and buckles, mounting brackets for utilities and traffic signals, and manual application tools. Next slide, Larry. The preformed hose clamps uh, re represent a large portion of the strap binder business. Uh, these clamps are used on industrial hose which uh, is defined as uh, low pressure, larger diameter hoses. Types of hose include air, water, discharge, chemical, suction hose. We sell the, these uh, band clamps primarily into the hose and accessory distributors. Those are distributors that fabric fabricate hose assemblies. What's happening at these distributors, they, they take a cut length of hose, put a fitting on each end, hopefully a Campbell fitting, and then secure that fitting on the hose with uh, hopefully a, a strap binder band clamp. We offer two distinct styles of preformed hose clamps, J-series and center punch. The J-series is the more robust of the two style clamps due to its heavier band material and heavier lock. The clamp, once tensioned, is rolled over so that the tail is perpendicular to the lock so that when the tail is cut, it forms a J. This clamp is also referred to 
a lip lock or rollover style clamp. Uh, it has very good holding strength. These J-Series clamps are available in five bandwidths, quarter, three-eighths, half-inch, five-eighths, and three-quarter. Diameters range from 13 sixteenths ID all the way up to eight inch. They're available both in type 201 stainless steel and electro galvanized carbon steel. The key feature to these clamps is that it has a smooth bore inside diameter. That provides a 360 degree contact of the band with the hose thus reducing the prob probability of a leak pad. The other style clamp is called a center punch clamp. Next slide, please, Larry. You got it, Mike. Thank you. Uh, the center punch clamp is not as robust as the J-Series clamp. Therefore, it is uh, the lower cost option and is used in more non-critical type applications. This clamp is, once tensioned, is locked in place by striking a conical shaped punch into the lock, which pushes the metal into the band and locks the clamp in place. This is available in two band widths, 3 eighths and 5 eighths, also in diameters of 13 16 to 8 inch ID. The raw materials would include type 201 stainless steel, Electro galvanized carbon steel. The point I want to make here about the strap binder center punch clamp we are the only clamp manufacturer in the industry that makes a smooth bore center punch clamp. So you will find these clamps uh, being used in a variety of industries, as I stated before agriculture, oil and gas, mining, food and beverage, construction, chemical processing, and refining. Next slide, Larry. This, uh, this slide features our, uh, our stainless steel banding offering. Uh, we uh, offer the 100 foot foils in, type, in grade type 201 in quarter, 3 eighths, half inch, 5 eighths, and 3 quarter, and type 316 in half inch and 3 quarter bandwidths. The 201 material is offered also in totes. The features of this uh, this particular offering is that it's resistant to moisture. It has a built-in handle. It's easy to spin. You'll have a full view of the coil, and it's uh, color-coded uh, for bandwidth identification. Being uh, blue is half inch. Green would be a 5 8 banding, and red is at the 3 quarter inch toe. We also offer uh, the big binder band, which is uh, the real heavy duty 3 quarter, 1 inch, an inch and a quarter material that's 044 in band thickness. This is primarily used for mounting large fixtures such as transformers by the telecommunications, utilities, and power company industries. Also, the uh, one inch is used in some hose shops uh, for the fabrication of collars for metal hose. We also offer type 304 economy coils. This is uh, offered in a variety of bandwidth and, bandwidths and thicknesses uh, for primarily construction, shipyards, sign hanging, insulation securement, and other corrosive environments. We also uh, uh, offer this in mill wound coils. Those are uh, the larger put ups of uh, the type 304 material in uh, either 900 foot, 2000, 3000 foot coils. Uh, these coils are made to fit into a strapping dispenser for the higher volume requirements. Next page, Larry. On this page, we have uh, assembled some 
some key products used in the sign signal traffic control fastening applications. As I indicated earlier, we have the uh, type 201, type 316 banding in 030 in thickness with the uh, key bandwidths being half and three quarter. 90% of uh, uh, the banding is used in those two, two gauges. We also offer those in uh, plastic totes. The, st the stainless steel buckles uh, are manufactured with uh, type 201 grade uh, stainless steel, and we have a buckle that corresponds to every bandwidth that we manufacture. Uh, on this particular page, we're also featuring our snap lock quick release uh, clamp. Uh, that's used primarily for non permanent sign and banner mounting, uh, primarily seasonal events like holidays, festivals, and concerts. Below that, we, uh, we also uh, manufacture sign brackets, two different styles, a uh, flared leg, which we show in this particular picture, and a straight leg. The flared leg uh, is primarily for round poles three inches in diameter or greater, while the straight leg is used on metal pole with diameters of 14 inch and larger, square poles and wooden poles, larger than eight inch. We also uh, manufacture a pole binder pole, bolt clamp that's uh, manufactured with extruded aluminum used in conjunction with our three quarter and inch and a quarter big binder band. That's used by utilities, telecommunications, power companies for mounting utility boxes, transformers, and other large uh, fixtures. At the bottom of the flyer here, we have our uh, three main tools that are used uh, throughout the industry. The uh, ST001 is our spin tight tensioner. You're probably most familiar with that one. That's uh, used uh, for sign hanging and in hose shops for applying band and buckle to the larger OD hose. The ST101, which is the one with the red handle, is a ro more robust tool than the spin tight tensioner due to its windless tensioning design. It has a built-in cutter and a hammer knob for knocking down the ears on buckles and wing seals. We also have a little flex driver. That's a nifty little tool for tightening gear clamps. It's, it features a flexible shaft and no slip grip with uh, a socket that can be flipped over for either quarter inch and 5 16 clamp screw heads. Next slide, Larry. We mentioned uh, manual application tools. This is, uh, Scrapbinder came out with a, a battery operated tool several, several years ago. Uh, it's one of the most ver versatile tools in our industry. By switching out one of the three heads, it can be used to apply 5 eighths and 3 quarter stainless and galvanized J-series clamps, 5 eighths stainless steel and galvanized center punch clamps, and half, five-eighths, and three-quarter band and buckle. Uh, the tool is both portable and bench mountable. As you see at the top of the page here, the tool is in a uh, fixture that can be applied to a bench and as a production tool or taken out as a fixture and, uh, and be used uh, anywhere within your, your facility or used in a service vehicle for field repairs. Some of the key features of this tool, it has preset tension settings. So you'll get the same tension as pulled on every cycle, which takes out the variability you get when using manual tools. It's powered by an 18 volt lithium ion battery, which is a quick, quick charge battery. You'll uh, get an 80% charge in 15 minutes and a full charge in 30 minutes. It has unlimited takeout. 
meaning you can pull down larger clamps to, to smaller diameters just in one cycle. Another feature is it can be used with uh, any domestic manufactured clamps. So uh, if you have inventory of a uh, uh, non-strap binder clamp, the school will uh, utilize that particular clamp. So keep in mind this tool is a, is, is a perfect solution for the many variables that we deal with every shop. So that's uh, my portion of it. I'm gonna thank you for your interest and I'll turn this back to Larry. Well, Mike, don't go anywhere. We'll need you for the Q&A session. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, what we find out with our product and like most products, what the customer expects is high quality. Uh, strap binder is a very high quality product. Uh, quick order turnaround. Our lead times uh, from the plant are two to three days. Uh, and in the worst case, we're one to two weeks. Uh, we have engineering surface capabilities I talk about, which is very important to the customer to have that the support, uh, to, to support his applications, uh, and, and walking through the process, uh, and for yourself. The testing services, like I mentioned earlier, are very important that we have those uh, that we can supply the end user, uh, or do special testing on request as needed. Uh, we have very competitive pricing. Uh, I don't think there's anybody in the marketplace we can't beat on pricing. Uh, very ease of doing business, uh, good product support at our plant, and usually our uh, orders are freight prepaid. Some of the applications for the uh, banding and strapping, uh, if you're driving down the road, which uh, when I first went to work with these guys, they said, well, you're going to be involved in banding. I knew I didn't know what they were talking about, so I started looking at the utility poles. I was driving down the road, and I saw this banding on the pole, and this is a steel pole with multiple banding holding up light, a light fixture, uh, insulator standoff, uh, and all such conduit strap. And as you can see, it's a fairly large pole. They can do they can do single band or multi band strapping with the buckles. Here's an application with the uh, basically the banding holding down some tanks. Uh, looks like a water tank, application tank, or a chemical application. Uh, another big segment application is traffic and sign segment. Uh, this is usually at the city, muni, and state level uh, where you're hanging signs, uh, you know, traffic control, uh, cameras, lighting, uh, all kinds of control boxes. Uh, it's It's a big market. Uh, you find this in new construction, uh, big RMO, maintenance repair and ops. Uh, he, and uh, Mike mentioned early ho holiday seasonal bannering, which you see a lot of, you know, in the Thanksgiving and your Christmas and such. Uh, usually this product is sold through uh, the through people like yourself uh, and uh, basically in the industrial hardware and electrical. Another big market is utilities. Uh, as you can see, the, it's all kinds of applications and utilities. You're hanging heavy uh, equipment, uh, insulator straps, uh, conduit, cable bundling, uh, and such. Uh, they, you get involved in new construction again, maintenance repair. Uh, when you have hurricanes and uh, <clears throat> tornadoes and such and bad weather and with icing, you, you get a lot of repair work going on. Uh, utilized also by uh, T&D, which is transmission distribution, distribution electrical contractors. Also, uh, sort of a segment off the utilities is the telecommunication, uh, basically the towers, uh, which is hanging a lot of your wireless capabilities and uh, DAS, distributed antenna systems. Uh, this is a very large market and also in the cable industry. And they're doing a lot of cable bundling, uh, routing and such with the banding. In the industrial segment, uh, which is the hose distributor segment, uh, you guys uh, in this area get involved in chemical construction, power, oil and gas, refineries, and pipelines. So a lot of these are your customers. Uh, we also apply it to gas tank uh, trucks, fire trucks. I talked about bundling of cable and ground. Wiring and cable is a new big application where they use 304 stainless. 
which is a good corrosive type environment for industrial, uh, mining, food and beverage. Uh, we mentioned oil and gas, oil and gas downhole uh, with the application. Uh, the military uses a lot, especially in shipbuilding and rebuilding. Shipbuilding, they continuously use stainless 201 or 304 for cable routing and cable bundling in the ships. And there'll be miles of it in a ship, as you could imagine. And right now, the, the uh, military is going through a lot of retrofitting of their, uh, their vessels. Our core value proposition to the customer is like, again, I, I keep harping on this, but it's high quality. You have to have a, a high quality equal product. You have to know your business, extensive knowledge of the applications where the clamps are used, stringent quality standards and processes, uh, that's, that's a must. And you gotta meet the standards of all the industries you're involved in. Now, the ones I have listed here are more leaning to the automotive, uh, but uh, there's other, you got mill spec, uh, and you got other standards you need to meet too. And we do meet those and we have the documentation for it. We have a consistent 98% fill rate. We're excellent at supply. Uh, like I said before, in-house engineering and testing. Global resources. Uh, for us in the United States, we'd like to have our resources right here in North America, and we do. We're manufacturing in Smyrna. We do have some manufacturing in Mexico. We have distribution facilities in Nevada, Houston, Smyrna, and Ohio. So we're very well situated to take care of your needs. And we have global manufacturing, uh, which is important for your international companies that you are taking care of. Again, we are US owned and US manufacturing. And here's the contacts. It's myself uh, being the national account manager uh, with our emails and our cell numbers and my contact information. And then we have the website at www.stratbinder.com and idealtridon.com. And right there about the website, I wanted to veer off and show you something real quick. I'm not gonna go to the website, but I wanna show you some literature that's available to you. Uh, so I'm gonna exit and pull up some literature. This literature is our catalog for Strat Binder. It's 11 pages long. It has all the product into it. And I know what Mike was looking at was like a little, you know, it's hard to read. But if you go to this catalog, which is on our website under a literature tab, you can pull it up and it's a PDF. You can pull it and download it to your, uh, to your machine, to your PC. So again, it's 11 page. I'm not gonna go through it. I will show you the the index. So you can see you have the J series banding, you have the center punch, you have the banding, and you have all the products and tooling. If you want to go through the tooling, uh, it's very important. And the accessories uh, for mounting, and we add some other. Uh, there's other products in there we didn't go over today that you can look at at your own leisure. The other one I want to show you is a good handout for your customers is on the on the sign hanging hardware. This is mainly referring to the banding and buckling product. And it's a two page flyer that it's an easy handout for your customer. But it's mainly for applications for sign and signal mounting telecommunication utility applications. The industry this applies to is public work departments. This is your city and state, the munis and REAs and co-ops, DOT, Department of Transportation, traffic control contractors. And one I did mention was sign and banner contractors. They are a big usage of this product. Here's some applications. And it's a very brief, and as a mic, this is the one Mike used in his presentation. And this is available to you on the website under the literature tab. Just doing a quick review for you guys. And the last one I want to make you aware of, Mike used uh, 
in the presentation that you can pull down as a PDF is the grip clamp, the same one tool he just went over. The grip clamp tool, one tool for three applications, center punch, J, J clamp, and, the, and basically banding and buckling. And Mike just went over this. I just want to show you it's available to you on the website under literature. So I'm going to minimize that. We'll go back to the presentation. And we are basically at the end of the presentation, so uh, we're good at taking uh, questions at this time, if you'd like. We'd be glad to answer them. And I'm going to let uh, Courtney read them off if, uh, as they come in. All right, we have a question. Um, so, Larry and Mike, the literature you just showed um, and various other literature and brochures, are they available in print form as well as websites? Are they available where? In print form as well as uh, digitally on the website. Oh, that's an absolute yes. If, you, if you'd like uh, the catalog, uh, you can ask your, uh, your representative uh, from Ideal Trinon or our sales group who's calling on you today and they can order them for you uh, in the quantities you want. Uh, it's a very simple process and we can get them out uh, to you within one week. Great. Another question. Um, are there videos showing the tools and clamps being applied? Um, for example, hose ends being installed, signs, utilities. Mike, I'm going to let you answer that one. Yes, uh, on our website we have a uh, a ribbon that has uh, our technical toolbox. So on that, in, in the technical toolbox, we have the manuals, the uh, instruction sheets, and videos for the application tools. We have that. We have a video for the grip clamp. What videos do we have available, Mike? Can you just sort of uh, roll them off? Uh, we we have the uh, uh, spin tight tensioner, the uh, grip clamp tool, the uh, spin tight tensioner with the HBJ001 adapter for applying uh, J series clamps, and uh, also, some of the uh, the center punch tools, the manual center center punch tools, are all on the, uh, and the, the video portion. Website. And the reason we didn't bring up the website and the videos, uh, I've given two of these last week, and every time I bring up the website and videos, the uh, the uh, they cr the site crashes. And I think that so many people are using this this uh, platform to communicate and, and uh, educate that it's the bandwidth is not supporting it on the internet so we we forego that this, this morning i apologize for that but it just it's not capable at this time okay courtney next one all right um can you use the grip to clamp in lieu of the pneumatic bandit clamping tool that's yours mike okay the question again is uh, can you use the grip clamp in lieu of the pneumatic bandit clamping tool? Yes, you can. Uh, the, the key is, though, that the grip clamp will only do 5 8 and 3 quarter inch bandwidth clamps. Uh, so if you're using a, a, a bandwidth other than 5 8 and 3 quarter, uh, you're limited to those two sizes. And yes, uh, people have uh, purchased the uh, grip clamp tool to replace a, uh, a, a bandit tool, uh, whether it be a, a bench unit or their portable tool. Thank you, Mike. All right, next, next question. Um, in regards to sign hanging, what percent of the market do you have, and who is the biggest competitor that we will run into? I'll take that one. Uh, I'll start at the end and work backwards. Uh, our biggest competitor is Bandit. 
uh, Bandit controls about 60% of the market in uh, North America. Uh, and our, our percentage of the market right now is, believe it or not, we're the second or, or third player as I did in market analysis. Uh, and uh, at this time, you know, we'd like to uh, take on Bandit as our main competitor. Uh, we're very competitive. There's not a Bandit price out there I don't think we can beat. I, I say that backwards. I think there's there's not a Bandit price that we cannot beat. And our availability is and service uh, beats theirs hands down. Sorry about that, Courtney. You got tongue tied. All right. Um, people are asking if they can get a copy of these slides after. So I can answer that one just saying yes, you can have copies of the slides and we can also give you the recording to this training. Um, let's see what else. Uh, prepaid, prepaid freight policy and minimum order size. I'll take that one. Uh, prepaid freight is basically uh, your order is approximately $250 your first order is $1,600, but your second order only has to be $250, uh, and we cover uh, prepaid freight. Uh, so that's basically basically the criteria for freight. Hope that answers your question. Um, all right. Um, do you have military spec products, mainly with the clamps? Mike, I'm going to let you answer that one. Yeah, I'm uh, almost certain that we do. Uh, if, if there's a particular spec called out, we have the uh, uh, wherewithal with our engineering group to uh, make sure that the product that we're manufacturing meets those standards. All right, we've got one more question here. So if anyone has anything else, you can chime in now. Uh, but this last one, uh, Larry discussed smooth bore IDs being um, IDs being an advantage for consistent clamping. What type of bore IDs do our competitors have? Mike, I'll well, let you have uh, that one. Yeah, the uh, three forms, uh, the J series and center punch clamps are manufactured all the way up to eight inch ID. Now our competitor offers a uh, ultra lock clamp, which is a uh, heavier duty style clamp uh, that is made up all the way up to a nine inch ID. Now uh, we will soon be coming out with a, a product that will compete with the ultra lock. Uh, it is known as our power type clamp and that will go from two and a half inches all the way to uh, nine inch uh, OD. So we will have a, uh, a comparable uh, large OD clamp out in the industry. With more brake strength and uh, to meet or beat the ultra light spec. Exactly. All right, we, uh, we've got two more questions that came in. Um, so back to the pre paid freight policy. Um, does that apply to CDN customers? Applies to what? CDN customers. Canadian. Okay. I, I, Canadian. Uh, yes. In U.S. dollars. <laughs> um, and are strap binder products available at different box stores such as Home Depot or just the clamp products? I believe at this time it's just the clamp products and, and not the uh, banding and buckling. Yeah. The, the gear clamps are available in the big box stores, but as far as the preforms, uh, we normally direct uh, those types of inquiries to our uh, hose and accessory distributors. Th those, because those uh, distributors are uh, have the knowledge and wherewithal to supply the various industries that those clamps go into. Thanks, Mike, for that clarification. Yep. I think that's all the, um, the questions we have.
Well, those are excellent questions, and I hope this was beneficial to you today. And uh, uh, Mike and I and Courtney really enjoy talking to you, and uh, we hope to do this again sometime. Thank you. Thank you very much.